Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing The Outer Worlds for the first time. Um, I haven't played this before, obviously, since this is in fact the first time. Uh, I've seen it being played, and it looks super fun, and that is how I've managed to reference it in some of my other videos, you might have noticed. Uh, but I've never actually played it myself, and now I have it, so let's check this out. Uh, I've been given to understand the Switch version of this game was pretty bad on first release, like it wasn't a very good port. Uh, but I was told if I updated to the latest version it should be better. So I'm on 1.0.2, uh, that seems to be the latest version, so let's see how we go. Um, so if you're not familiar with the game, it's by, I think they're called Obsidian, Obsidian Entertainment, the people who made Fallout New Vegas, and it's a space anti-capitalism RPG, yeah, Obsidian, there we go, uh, first person RPG thing in the same sort of vein as the Fallout games, but it's in space instead of the future 1950s. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's dive in. Uh, okay, I'm not playing with a Joy-Con, but thanks for letting me know. I'm using a Pro Controller. I know you can't see it, but I am. The Outer Worlds. Press any button. Adjust the gamma slider until you can barely see the left logo. Okay, I can't see a left logo. So I'm gonna up the gamma a little bit. There it is. Uh, there. Okay. Uh, settings. Let's just jump in here first and have a quick look. Subtitles on. Uh, on. Uh, on. I like subtitles. Subtitles are good. Uh, language English and English. Yep. Controls. Rumble on. Uh, Motion aiming? Hmm. I probably do want to play with motion aiming. It works pretty well for a lot of Switch games, but um, I might leave it off and see how we go. Uh, I guess show my helmet. UI text size. Um, leave it on the default. I'm sitting pretty close to my screen, so I should be okay, but we'll see how we go. Uh, I think these default settings are probably fine for most of these things. Okay, um, I might turn up my volume just a tiny bit. I'm using a different setup again, uh, so it's a little fiddly. Uh, here's the volume. Boop. There we go, 15. Okay. Uh, new game, I guess. Um, okay, so yeah, they have a couple of different difficulties. Story, normal, hard supernova. If you reduce the difficulty below supernova, you cannot re-enable it. You must eat, drink, and sleep. Oh my. That sounds really hard. Um, I don't think I want to play that. I'm going to play normal. <laughs> Conversation subtitles on, bark subtitles on, cinematic subtitles on, text size. So they're prompting about this stuff at the start of the game. So I guess you are supposed to look into the options. Or at least some of them. Uh, Halcyon. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony... It loaded too quickly for me to read it. <laughs> Why stay earthbound when oh, reading it for me. Oh no. So you can probably already tell it's an anti capitalist game. I'm excited.
Who's this? I really like this music. Phineas Vernon Wells. Crimes against the colony. Ooh. I bet he jaywalked or something. see. Hmm. Uh, let's up my dexterity. Uh, how good can it get? On the draw. Oh, very good. Uh, on the draw. Uh, charm, temperament, intelligence. Hmm. Let's go with that and see how we go. Uh, skills? I have two points, so I get to pick which of these skills I'm going to be using, I guess. Uh, let's say stealth? If you wanted to steal from the rich, you've come to the right colony. Oh. How exciting. Um, uh, and dialogue, well, I reckon. We haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite. Aptitude, let me see. Um, oh, I see. I get to pick, like, what job I had beforehand, and it gives me a little bonus of some kind. <laughs> Dirt Farmer? Oh, wow. There's a lot of flavor text here. It's very impressive. Um, are any of these sneaky? That's what I'm kind of leaning towards. Bureaucrat rank zero, cashier. Uh, uh, let's go with cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory. No transaction is finished without a smile. You'll live for the kachunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up, the redemption of loyalty points, and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon, Bye bye now, are more than empty words. They're a promise, and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. I can be reasonably sure you know how to add and subtract. <laughs> Appearance. Uh... Okay, there's only two genders. Well, that's not a great start. Uh, there should be more, but... Uh, that's, that's something. What do we got in here? Different heads? Um, different skin tones. I'm gonna stick with relatively white. Just, I think it's kind of weird playing a character of color from white. I don't have the right to do that, is my thinking. Uh, yeah, there's lots of options here. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do with this. Uh, I might just leave stuff on the defaults, maybe, and just give them a little bit of a tweak here and there. Hair? I like hair. What do we got here? Uh, um, we can spin me around? Hmm. Hmm. I like that one. Might turn up the, the brightness just a little bit. Hold on. Brightness, there it is. There we go. Da -da -da -da. Oh, you can get all sorts of interesting hair colors. I kind of wish I had like a menu to pick these from instead of just scrolling a slider across to get the different colors, because it just it just seems fiddly. Um, 
Is there an eyebrow with like a little slit cut out of it? Because I'm gay. That'd be a nice option. Oh, kind of. I mean, yeah, that one's kind of what I was going for. Uh, I should just leave switched off, thanks. Features? Uh, oh, makeup. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Put some dirt on my face. Yeah, this could definitely use more of a... More, more of a, like, a, a visual gallery of what the different options are. Rather than having you scroll the sliders across to pick which of these you want, it's a bit silly. Uh, I like this one. And then age, I assume older. Yeah, I guess I'll leave that on default. And a name. Uh, I'll just use my name. I think it, the game doesn't use your name when you're playing because um, everything is voiced, so they couldn't really use your name, but we'll see. Space's choice is dying to meet you. Um, yeah, that looks alright. Let's see how we go. Next. Accept. Okay, so, uh, Phineas or whoever is gonna, like, rescue me Looks right now? Your lucky day, my friend. Okay, so that's me? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So is skip jump like hyperspace, or looks like it? Okay. Terra two orbiting laboratory, Halcyon system. Okay, so, am I the only colonist to be rescued, or...? Looks like it. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. I like this character. Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full <laughs> of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. It'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> oh, I like this. This is an extremely charming introduction to the game. Charge up weapons like the plasma rifle will consume more ammo with a longer charge, but also inflict a lot more damage. I'll keep that in mind. 60th anniversary of the Hope's disappearance. So the Hope fell out of slip of slip space or skip space or whatever. Right. Okay. Well, did it actually fall out of, of skip space, or did they lose it on purpose? There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, a smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. Okay. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. 
I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Thanks, Phineas. Oh. Okay, that's not good. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh. oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oh dear. That's not good. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Okay. I'm sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Oh dear. Uh, I think I want to try turning on the motion aiming. We're holding the aim button. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Okay, so B is my sneak button. A is jump. Y next don't do anything yet. D-pad doesn't do anything yet. Oh, one of the shoulder buttons does something. <laughs> oh, that was L. It did something. Hello, little insects. Not insects. Reptile. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to crouch to get under here, right? Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. Okay. Um. Okay, I can click the left stick to start sprinting. Crouch to sneak and avoid detection. Okay. While sneaking, use tall grass rocks. I was trying to read that. Rocks or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Okay. Oh, I see. There's enemies up there. I don't have a weapon yet. Okay, they are becoming aware of me. Uh, I don't know why, because I'm hiding. Am I doing it wrong? Uh, I think I'm in trouble. Maybe? They seem to be gone. So maybe I'm okay? Oh, okay. Uh, that's quite far down. Am I supposed to jump all that distance? Yeah, that's, that hurt. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if there was something else I was supposed to do there. Oh, am I talking to you? Hello. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Oh, I can patch him up. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. 
We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Hmm. Straight by with my life. Crawling Sounds like here, sabotage to me. Those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. I hope this gun isn't sabotaged. For patching me up and all. All spacers' choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Hmm. Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Uh, Alright, we'll have a gun now. Um, anything else? What's that? I did turn on motion aiming. How do I use it? Okay, there we go. Cool. So yeah, if I hold ZL, it like look down the sight so I can aim with the, with the what you call it. I'm still looking at the controller. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. I don't know how to reload yet. Um, I guess I'll just... Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived or an extended hibernation, your brain processes the time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. So is this like um the vats thingy in Fallout? Reloaded. I don't know how though. Uh, okay, there they are. Um, yeah, I'll take all of that. Thank you. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, there. I have a new item. Weapon management. Up to four weapons equipped at a time by never getting the weapon the weapon slot at the top of the screen. Uh, take good care of your TNL weapons or take care of your enemies. Alright. Okay. Uh, how do I switch weapons? Oop, oh, that's not switching weapons, that's something else. Okay, that's how you melee. That's, that's me clicking the right stick to melee. Uh, X? Okay, X is how you switch weapons. How do I block? Is that all? Okay.
Okay then. Bit cartridges are money, right? I think. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. What did I find? Okay, these pistols are all identical, so I might as well just use this one, I guess. Although, can they... they can be damaged? Hmm... Might be a good idea to avoid using the same one too much, maybe? Also, uh, Y button is reload. <laughs> okay, uh... Do, do, do. I think I'm kind of seeing, like, the texture limitations of the Switch. I'm, I'm guessing it looks prettier on other platforms, but... Honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. I, I like it. <laughs> uh, so, I'm not too concerned. Yeah, and yeah, there's nothing to turn up the visuals or anything. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! I put my gun away somehow when I'm talking to friends. I don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that road. Okay, cop. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap them with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. Are you out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, <laughs> we're running that sick freak down. Weirdos. You know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs, son. <laughs> Capitalism. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be Fucking laminated. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. This game is silly. Take all this stuff. What's this thing? Okay. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Welcome, welcome aboard the unreliable. <laughs> Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Can I put my gun away? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, I'm on a spaceship now. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit. Hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Um. Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage the airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in five, four, three. Two, one. You are still here. <laughs> My deception has <laughs> I have been programmed to express disappointment. Oh, oh, I love you. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Yeah. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Sorry. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. 
If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I guess I'm Captain Hawthorne now. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power resonator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Okay. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power resonator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of workers. Are we gonna steal one or taking the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm level 2 now. Um, every time you level up, you earn skill points on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills, up to, two, up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks, and the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Work diligently, improve yourself, and you too can achieve middle management. Uh, I've been promoted. Leveling up increases your health points, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling, you'll be upper management material in no time. Okay, I have 10 points this time, so I can probably spend them on a bunch of different stuff. Uh, let me see... Uh, a bit more tech. A bit of leadership might be good. Um, and I should probably up my defense a little bit too. There we go. Uh, apply. And with the dialogue combat skill, when taking the correct type of target, they are automatically de debilitated. Okay. Uh, I get perks now, right? Perks. Welcome to perk selection. On this screen you can choose which perks to buy with your perk points. You get a new perk point to spend every two levels. You can also acquire perk points through gameplay, such as by accepting a floor. Acquiring five new perks makes the next tier of perks available to you. Auntie wants you to be your best to help her be the very best. Uh, let's see. Health. Uh, more time dilation. <laughs> Surely this is normal. <laughs> um... Lone Wolf Strider. Uh, increased sprint speed. High maintenance. Oh, that sounds good. Hmm. A few bits more. Oh, yeah, that's good. Recharge. Traveler. Fast travel when encumbered. Hmm. I'm leaning towards upping my move speed or my sprint speed. I like being fast. There we go. Uh, so we have to go find that power regulator. Do I have limited sprinting or can I just do it forever? Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Thanks, Lieutenant Mercer. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Do -do -do.
quick. Oh, you're a marauder. Hello. Oh, there's more? Alright then. <laughs> Leave me alone, marauders, I'm busy. Oh, you're not a marauder, you're a resident. Oh no. You got killed by the marauders, oh no. Possibly by the cops. Seems like the kind of thing the cops would do. Can I go up here or is it too steep? I can't really tell. It looks like I can can go up here. It's a little tricky to tell what's steep and what's less steep. If that makes sense. <laughs> oh, there's Edgewater. Let's go. Ow. Fall damage. No thank you. Whoa, hey. Where'd you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. You pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise through the cranium? Yeah, I sure did. It's safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Should I say that I'm Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable? Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Gross. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Okay. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. You don't have power you guidance? business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Okay. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. Ugh. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Yikes. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Eesh. Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Four workers still haven't paid up. Can Willis, I not Conrad, collect their fees? And Martin can I, can I go to them and say, "Hey, I'll pay this instead"? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just hmm. make sure he pays up. Okay, bye. Seems like they shouldn't let people, like, brandishing guns come in. But here I am brandishing a gun. Yeah, I'd love to transition. Let's do it. <laughs> Raising your stealth skills unlocks sneak attacks for bonus damage, previewing on if unlocked containers and the ability to hack vending machines. Sounds good. Raising your dodge skill unlocks a forward dodge, the leap. Leap is great for rapidly closing distance on the enemy. Okay. Most melee weapons work with three quick swing combos. Some unique weapons can do fewer or many more. If you say so. Perks provide unique bonuses for you and your companions. Yeah, I know. Taking a while to load, huh? The Earth Directorate catalogues habitable settler systems and sells exploitation rights and. Exploitation rights? Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, we're here now. Edgewater discovered 600 experience. Barbershop, can I go in? Yeah, it looks like it. Can I get my hair done? Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. I wash my hands very regularly. 
Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. Yeah, this is very relevant right now. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. Okay. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon, I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I didn't like this guy. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. No. Okay, I actually wanted to get my hair done, but it doesn't seem like you do that. Whoa. Uh. What? What the heck? Conrad, receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's gonna have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Space's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This is gonna ruin us. I'm thinking we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down his family or something. You're processing, you're, pro you're processing his body, right? Just stick around and pry him out. We sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet, use the bits to pay his body price, and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal each time you see me. Muggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Oh my god. Apparently I'm allowed to be in here, but I can't take the stuff. It's kind of weird. Um, am I allowed to sit here and get my hair done, or is that not an option? Doesn't seem like it's an option. Let's just wander on, I suppose. Cannery? Jug, 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 jug. Saltuna Cannery. Okay, so we want to be above this place, so we have to go through it, I guess? Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. It's got some great music there. This reminds me of a uh, Bioshock Infinite a little bit. Seems we've got a guest. Hello, Reed Thompson. Now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yep, that's all right. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my. I don't like you. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we've got is the puppet of the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it uh, without frying yourself in the process. Thanks, creepy guy. Oh, yeah. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. Ugh. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are Okay, I don't wanna I don't wanna take the power away. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent, just um, really child. I don't think so. Doing them a kind. Do I have another option? The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Edgewater is 
struggle. Mm -hmm. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Hmm. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Okay. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you... Oh, hello. Guide. You're cute. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Oh, she's cute. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Oh, oh, she's adorable. Thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask. Is, is she like a permanent party member? Oh, gosh. Companions. You've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Learn more about your companion in the companion ledger. Where is she? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do that. Go this way. You're cute. Elevator music. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office. I mean, we did. We're hey. Sorry. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along. Oh no, you're a sweetie. Just, Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all. But that's not the only side of the tale. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Oh. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. I love you, poverty. One big spacer's choice family. You're a sweetie. Every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. You're cute. Something you need? Oh, I wanted to, like, talk to us some more, but I didn't have that option. Is she following me? Yep. Oh, cutie. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. Uh, hmm. So that's where the vicar is, and that's Adelaide Vegewater, I think? Yeah, this looks like a church. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Hello. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. 
Yeah. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The quickest way out of town. What? I thought you would talk to him. Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb. No, I, I, I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. I don't want to make you do it. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, poverty. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. Yeah. I can see why that troubles Yeah, me. it's troubling. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible yes. life choice? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I can't fix that. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the full. Not if things are left to stand. Hmm. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. Oh no! However, the Evil collector's book. residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information hmm. to fall into public. I, I don't know if it's a good idea to, to do that. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll hmm. mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thing. Okay, so he's not going to burn it. I think he likes it. I think he wants it. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. I think he wants to keep Should it. They ever read it. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Hey girl, are you okay? Something you need? You mean about the mission being too clean? I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, and it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. The vicar's about the only soul in the veil who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. But you're so lovely. How could you disappoint anyone? You're a sweetie. Cutie. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Um... We're coming up on close to an hour of play, so I'll probably wrap up the video soon-ish. Uh, I can definitely tell that they've, like, uh, cut down on the visuals a bit to make it run smoothly on the Switch. It, it, it kind of looks like a, a game from, you know, years earlier, like I'm playing Half-Life 2 or something. Um, which still looks great these days, but, you know, it's not super gorgeous. Um... I don't think it's a problem. I, I like how it looks. I it's just maybe not what everyone was hoping for, and that's maybe why it was badly received on this version. I don't know, but I like it. Hmm.
The best, oh, okay. Best dialogue skills are automatically used. Okay. Well, we're outside now. Um, hey, poverty. I think we want to go this sort of direction. I can see like some lava over there. So I guess that's where the geothermal thermal plant would be, in that sort of area. At least roughly. A bad guy over there. I'm ready for this. You okay? You okay, baby girl? Hmm. I'm moving more slowly now? Oh, there we go, it's back to normal. Maybe it's like when you're in combat you go slower, or something? I'm confused. So yeah, this reminds me a lot of the Elder Scrolls and Fallout games. Which makes sense, because the team that worked on it did New Vegas. I'm really enjoying the whole anti-capitalist nature of the setting. It's it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's it's my kind of setting. Uh, can I get in here and take a look at that? Or is like scenery? What's going on? Oh, I just need to jump in. I think. Oop. No. Looks like I should be able to get in there. There's something in there. You want to come in from the other side? Yep, there we go. I did it. What have we here? Oh, a bunch of stuff. Oh, I put my gun away. How did I do that? Oh, you hold Y. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Th thanks, thanks for that option. That's good, because I want to, you know, socialise with people. I don't want to point guns at them all the time. Where is Poverty? Did I, did I lose her? Sweetie! Oh, there she is. Thank God. Where are we headed? Can I talk to her about it? No. Give me more conversation options. I want to talk to her about stuff. Okay, girl. I think she's okay. Okay, mm, mm. she took some, took some damage there. Do I need to do something to heal, heal her up? Or I think she automatically heals. It looks like her health's going back up. This is a way to give her a heal, but I don't know what that would be. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of red arrows on the on the thing. Are they below me? Like underground? Maybe. Yeah, looks like it. That looks dangerous. Uh, I may not be strong enough to take that. Oh, take that on just yet. Um, 
Yeah, I'd like some ammunition. Um... Well, I'm at an hour, so I guess I should start wrapping up the video. This game is looking super fun. I'm really enjoying the setting. Uh, and the characters are super adorable. This is a cutie. That's a cutie. I love her. Um, and I, I guess I can kind of see how the Switch version's a bit limited. Like, looking at the textures and stuff, there's it's visibly not gorgeous, but that's not, I think, a huge problem. Uh, I don't think that'd bother me much. Like, if I didn't know there was supposed to be another version of the game, I probably wouldn't have noticed. Uh, here's the lab. Oh, you're, oh, you're one of the botanical lab people who, you know, doesn't want to go back to the other place, I right? Know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. If you say so. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Um. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. Oh, I will. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Okay. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Oh, none taken. Much obliged. This looks like a nice settlement, honestly. Okay, um... Yeah, I better wrap it up for now. Uh, I think it auto-saves. But we'll chuck down a manual save just in case. Um, so yeah, that's the Outer Worlds. Um, it's a lot like Fallout, a lot like Elder Scrolls, but, uh, really overtly anti-capitalist and fuck corporations and stuff like that, which is really compelling. <laughs> so yeah, that's this game. Um, I'm looking forward to playing more of it, but that's it for now, because like, the video's done. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I know I just sort of, like, just shut up and let the game play for a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's fully voiced, it sort of made sense. Um, but yeah, that's that game, this game, the game. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm a mess. Um, bye!